time for a sunny drive in the Golf R. So yeah, let's get on this. And you guys know the regular stuff. You heard me put it into race mode. Makes good noise. You turn start stop off. You turn traction control off. Good to go. Oh, and you can scroll through. You can get it to that. Let's enjoy this. Hi there, guys. Sam here. Welcome back to another video. And you join me in the Golf Farm. What is a gorgeous day in the UK? And um, yeah, going for a bit of a nice drive, really. And um, yeah, thought I'd bring you all along. And to talk about, yeah, I'm having a little bit of a <laughs> little bit of a think about the car. Um, we're on 29,800 miles. Um, yeah, I've had it practically since noon. You're not familiar with the channel. So it's about 1,300 miles from a main VW dealer. Um, and in short, I basically found out that I'm not really going to, well, I'm not going to be going back into the office in terms of driving in for this year. Now, that means essentially mileage on the car is just, it's, it's not going to get driven or used as much, well, it's hardly as much. And that's kind of just made me thinking, is it worth kind of having? Is it worth selling? Is it worth trying something new? All these kind of things that go through my my mind. And I'd love to know your kind of thoughts and, well, your advice really on it. Because very long-term subscribers would know. I had the same kind of feeling before, actually. Back when the car was just below 10,000 miles. And in my head, I kind of said to myself, well, actually, you know, a 9,000 odd mile car, values wise, it's actually worth quite a bit more because of it's just the whole £9.99 thing. It's it's just less than a big number. And it increases, and the value kind of changes quite a lot either side. Now, fortunately, I did come to my sense and I didn't, um, <laughs> I didn't sell the car, and I'm so happy I have it. But this is slightly different with obviously the pandemic. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it does make you think, is it worth having? Now I always go back and forth on this, if it's worth trying something new, which is simply more fun. Maybe it's worth trying to get into a Porsche, my kind of dream car. There's so many things that kind of go through my head. This road is quite good, by the way. It's extremely windy in the UK, and this is where a car like this is brilliant. Four wheel drive, one and a half tons, so it's it's planted. Doesn't get blown around. It's great. That kind of answers <laughs> answers the question a little bit. Will I sell the car? Or should I sell the car? It's not like a clickbaity thing. My channel tends to just be real stuff. <laughs> um, I do loads of different content that it's mainly around the Golf R and my Mark Z ownership as well. It, it, it's tricky. I absolutely love it. I, I love it to bits. And as I mentioned before in a previous video, there's also pros and cons to not doing so many miles. Pros being you can kind of save on like brake wear, the tyre wear, engine wear. Um, it doesn't devalue as much, all that kind of stuff. The negatives are, it, it doesn't get as much use as I'd probably like for something that's ultimately, you know, I, I have no, I've never had finance on this car, I've bought it outright when, um, when I purchased it. It doesn't necessarily cost me anything, well it doesn't cost me anything monthly other than depreciation. And, well, the main expense that I had was fuel. And that just doesn't look like it's going to happen as much anymore. Um, you know, I started in February at about 29,000 miles. I'm on 29,800 miles. <laughs> and I'd be lucky if it goes too much over 30,000 mile mark. Anyway, that's my sort of panic mode over. The truth is, I should just settle down and I love this car. I mean, what could I replace it with as a daily? 
I just there's just nothing out there. All newer cars don't sound so good. They cost you thousands and thousands in depreciation. Um, yeah, they're, they're just so many. I, I know the history of this car. I know everything about it. I've I've owned it. It's been it's been a brilliant. Oh, I love this bit of road. Why can't all roads be like this? dog in the back um, it does so much stuff nice <laughs> Labrador staring at me um, and this is just like turned up to 11 it's, it's unbelievable and it is pretty much like new in here I, I keep it clean my OCD is to the max in this car um, yeah, it's such a brilliant car but I do love my cars which always gives me the question of well you live once, what do you want to do in your life? But, you know, just because I love cars doesn't necessarily mean I have to spend tens of thousands of pounds on a car. Um, I can enjoy this one and still provide all the nice content that I, I do with you on, on cool cars. On cool real world stuff as well. With the Mark 8 Gold Bar, I still find very, really, well, really interesting and exciting roads which are like a little bit twisty oh, I just love it manual gearbox which is going 
going, three doors are going, and you know, I say time and time again, I'm just, I'm just never going to get a car. I'll probably never own a car as good as this again in my life. I just generally don't think it's going to happen. Um, and I really do enjoy talking to you, other owners, and your kind of experiences. That's always cool.